That's me ready to defend. Okay, so keep off this white hand anchor point until I'm over, then I'll call rope three when I'm ready. I've been in places that no one else has ever been in the history of the human race. It's just been life-changing. Caving is an adventure you can have like every single weekend in Ireland. You descend into a different realm, a different space. And you could be anywhere in the past or in the future, but you are so in the now, so in the present. I give it five stars. <laughs> Something out of a storybook. Like these have left off the pages of the old poetry books. You know, <laughs> like these have myths and legends surrounding them. It's just, it is fantastic. There's, there's so many ways to get into caving. Outdoor adventure centres are a really great taster to get in there. Then you can also join with a university club, but you can also start with also the main clubs. Like there's, there's plenty all around the country. We have Clear Caving Group, for example, Dublin Caving Group as well. So you can come in, you can step in at any point in your life. And there's always, there's always an avenue for you to join. And now they're all away from the rock after that. Yeah. You're okay. Fear is an element in every adventure sport and controlling the situation obviously can be very difficult and, and knowing when to not overstep your boundaries is also, you have to have a deep respect for it. And when you're bringing in new groups of people, they have to trust you, you have to trust them. And you know, when you're the leader, especially if there is sometimes if there's an age gap or a gender gap or maybe a non-diverse group, you, you, may, you might not gain trust like naturally. So you have to build up this repertoire and, and get to know your team. I've never been there. I've been in the cave once, but nothing as spectacular as this. So great. Never done it before. I didn't actually expect there are so many caves down, you know, uh, in anywhere in Ireland. I didn't expect that at all, so. I've, I can't even explain the amount of personal growth that I've gone through. A lot of us are, are, are always trying to look for something to just fulfill us and, and this is just, it's that for me, exactly what it is. It's just pure fulfillment. It's muddy, it's wet, you know, miserable, it's dark. I'm pretty sure I'm claustrophobic. I probably am, is what I was thinking at the time. So I was I really uh, was stubborn and I really didn't want to give it a go, but then... Are we all ready to go? Yeah. Yes! The, the kind of vo little voice in my head, that little nagging, I was like, here, like, why, why am I standing in my own way to give this a go? Sure, I don't knock it till you try it, really, is, is, is what it came down to. All right, I'm through the other side. Second person could come through. You know, caving is a fully sensory experience. It, you open up a whole different world and universe below that we, we didn't have before. It allows us to come out of our, our own lives and into this newfound space and, and use our, our bodies in ways that we hadn't used them before. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Just wriggle that bum. <laughs> you always grow more in your discomfort zone and that's something that caving really offers. It, it pushes you further than you even knew you could be pushed. But that's where you should be to grow as a human. And if you can create that moment for people to step in and they will find their way through. It, it's so very present because there's no constructs like we have up on the land. Time is different down there, the sense of time.
I get so much from their excitement going. I've just had that feeling that you had when you were a kid, when you discovered something new, you discovered it. it's not something your brain can tell you or your mind can tell you. It is a full body feeling that explodes inside you and it's you've not had that since you were a kid or a child or a teenager. You can see the dirt line kind of coming up along yeah. the wall. You can see the shadow, there's a bit of dirt here. And that's the debris line from the water where it kind of reaches the ceiling at points. Anytime I bring a group of new people into a cave, it's always part of the experience as you get in maybe towards the end of the trip and we all switch off all of our lights. We're going to turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Feel yeah. true darkness. Is my, is my light off? Yeah. Yours is off. Yeah. You're doing prematurely. Okay, it's on, it's on. Okay. It's off. Everyone, three, two, one, lights off. And we could sit there for easily 15 minutes, just letting the experience wash over you. It's, it's the only place that you can truly experience complete darkness. And you're doing it as a group and it's, it's something, it's really comforting to be together in that situation. And you're just listening to the, to the noise of the water in the cave, listening to an echo and bounce off all the walls that are there. And you're just, it's, it's, it's surreal to say, to say the least. And, and you keep on making these little successes and accomplishments. You push through limits and boundaries that you, you never knew you, you um, had to push through. You, you didn't know you could before and you can accomplish things you didn't think you could or you didn't even know were there. I, I think a lot of people do uh, tend to use the term type 2 fun where it's, it's more about the stories that you share after the fact and reminiscing on the adventures you've been on with your friends and just where you've been and where, what's left, where is left for you to really to go. It's, it's just fantastic. The difficulty doesn't lie in doing the activity. The difficulty lies in how to access it. it it's so important that we give people those opportunities. Now getting into caving is just, a, it's opened a whole new world. It's uh, a, a whole world of new ideas of things to do, places to explore, so many adventures ahead. Stunning, like, I don't know, when you go down there, you forget everything. It's peaceful, it's quiet, it's, it's magical. I love being down there. I'll definitely go again. <laughs> <laughs>